Joanne Fultz from the Florida International Group. I'm here in Pelican Preserve on Matarita Drive and it's a beautiful community, very uh, well kept landscaped yards. And this part of Matarita Drive is just for the detached villas. So we're at a detached villa today that's currently on the market for $384. $1,900 and it's 1,591 square feet. It has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a den, and a two car garage. So this is the outside, and I'll take you through for a quick tour. So the entrance to the villa is around the side of the property, and they've done a really nice job of the landscaping down here. Outside faucet there. And you can see down the side, you can already see the lake just peeking through there. And this villa has a beautiful lake view. First, we come in, you can see this very open plan. We have um, the open plan kitchen, dining room, and the living space. Um, so you can already see in the living space that it's, um, it is smaller than the listing that we've been looking at in a villa circle. Um, but I'll start with the kitchen. So we have some really nice granite countertops here, dual sinks, um, dishwasher, range, and refrigerator, refrigerators whirlpool, so is the dishwasher, so is the range, and they match, although they're not um, obviously stainless steel, and a whirlpool microwave as well. We've got the taller cabinets here, the 42 inch cabinets, um, and these look in very great shape. They're not builder grade, they are a level above that, very nice uh, cabinets. Uh, and then this villa is actually being sold furnished. So all of the furniture that you see, we've got some nice light coloured, quite modern dining room furniture going on here. Nice chandelier. And all the um, decorations and pictures, I believe, are um, included as well. So this is the living space. So comparing this to um, the listing on a villa circle, um, it's as if that listing's living space had been extended out up into the, the uh, archway there. Now what's nice about the outside space here is that you have a truss and you have a storm shutter that actually closes on the side and on the back. So I'll see if we can just get this to, so you can see the side one. Closing there, back up, and then the one at the front. And that comes down and will close all of the way. We'll push it back up for now. So we've got a nice fan here as well, and coming out to this gorgeous view. Absolutely beautiful. Here we have plenty of space for a dining area or some more lounge chairs. That window is to the master bedroom, which will go in in a second. It's a rainy, humid day today. Plenty of clouds. But it's a very nice patio area. It's very quiet. The only thing we can hear are the birds chirping. So coming back through, I'll take you into the master bedroom. What I like about this is the amount of windows in here, as well as the space, and how large they are. So you have two windows looking out onto the lake there, and then an extra window here looking out under the truss. Very spacious master 
bedroom and it has a nice tray ceiling that gives you a little more height and adds to the volume of it. The bathroom has um, nice dual sinks and an oversized shower with a, um, a seat in it and a lavatory. The closet is quite large as well. It has um, hanging space on the right and behind the door on the left. I believe the TV must be included as well if it's being sold furnished as it is. So um, I didn't show you the pantry in the kitchen, but it has a very nice large pantry there. And the den. The den you can actually close off, it has doors on it, so this could be very easily a third bedroom. Nice large den here, There's plenty of room in here for um, a bed and some storage units as well. I have a couch and it looks like they're using it as an office right now. But and then we have a split floor plan going on, so. We have the second bedroom on this side of the uh, property. So there's the laundry room here with some nice storage above there. That leads into the garage, which is a two car garage. The second bathroom has a single sink, a nice unit with it, lavatory, bathtub and shower. All in very, very good condition. The tiling in here is perfect. It looks brand new. Storage closet in the hall here and then this is the second bedroom plenty large enough for a double you probably could fit the king size bed in here it's quite spacious two windows and a built-in closet and that looks out onto the front of the property. So that's it, that's all we have for you. Um, all in all, I think um, it's uh, very nice. The main two differences with the um, villa on a villa circle that you like is really the amount of living room space. Um, obviously it's uh, you know, much much longer and larger living room space and you don't have the um, built-in hot tub. Okay. All right, well, thanks so much and I'll talk to you soon.